Welcome back everybody to another Rocket League video. So today for you guys, um, I'm warming up right now and then I'm going to hop into a couple of games. Um, I just wanted to get some gameplay, you know, uh, I've been having some fun. I played a handful of games with Andrew today. I uh, didn't record anything I was streaming actually, so um, if you want to... If you want to check out the streams, you can check me out at jm underscore 0070 on Twitch. I do go live on there uh, periodically. I played some PUBG and Rocket League today. But yeah, I go live on there from time to time. But uh, we played some games. I think we played five or six games. We lost one. Um, so, so far it's been a pretty good return to Rocket League after, eh, that's, what was it, a week or two hiatus. Um, yeah, we're having some fun, so I'm gonna go ahead and queue us up. Uh, I'm gonna be playing some twos again, just because I want to get my twos into diamond. That way, if I play twos or threes, I'm playing at a diamond level. We hit that first goal. We hit that diamond season rewards, and man, am I stoked about that. Like, it's super fantastic. I'm very happy. Um... I've been playing this game for just a touch over a year at this point, and um, Andrew and I were actually talking about it when I first started. I think I got originally ranked at like bronze two or three, and to get to diamond in a year, I think that's an accomplishment. So um, if you're on the other side and you're you're trying to get up into these semi high ranks, I'm not going to say high ranks because diamond is it's definitely a great rank. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm super happy to be here, um, but the MMR between me and, uh, like, Pranovi or Squishy Muffins is, well, there's a, there's quite the difference between, <laughs> between us and MMR, so, uh, I'll just kind of leave that where that is, but yeah, um, I think I'm I'm pretty proud of myself for getting here, and if you guys are, you know, trying to get there, just keep practicing. I can't. There's no. There's a couple of things. There we go. That was nice. That was nice. Um, there's a couple of things that you can do, like you can watch tutorials and things like that, that are definitely gonna help. But at the end of the day. The, the thing that's going to make or break it is just how much time did you put into it? And if you put the time in, I promise you'll get better. And if you're in the gold rank and you're just kind of pushing for platinum, I, I've got to say just keep your head up because gold is, gold is a tough rank to be in. I've, I've just got to say, gold is a... Nice move. Nice move. Would have been cool if I would have pulled off that doubler. But, um... The gold is an extremely tough rank to come out of. There's so many players. It's so saturated. Um, especially if you're solo queuing, I think it's even harder because there's so much... Um... There's so much of a skill gap. I honestly think that there are there are silver one players and plat two players in gold. I I wholeheartedly believe that there are players of the anywhere in that range or that skill caliber in in gold. I truly believe that there's that much of a variation. So, don't get discouraged if you're stuck there. It's hard to find... <laughs> no worries, dude. No worries. Um, but there's... There's so so much of a skill gap, especially if you're solo queuing. It is hard to get to where you want to be. And I think that it also is a skill 
gold is like a skill inhibitor because it's um it prevents you from playing with players who are actually pushing you it, you know what i mean like when i started playing in diamond i um i was not ready for diamond i got lucky with some placement games on my p on the pc and i was not ready for diamond i lost it very quickly but what i can say is that playing Playing those handful of games gave me an idea of what it's like to truly play in that skill, in that skill range. So I had an idea, how fast do I actually need to be? How do I, how do I actually play the game at this skill level? And I mean, that wasn't very, uh, that wasn't very diamond-like, but it just, it's definitely good to be playing against competition that is better than you. You will get better much faster. So, moral of the story is, um, gold for all those reasons is such a tough, tough rank. And I, I actually have a friend of mine who's looking to get on the PC with Andrew and I, and he loves Rocket League. He's a, um, he loves to play it, plays a, a fair amount on the Xbox. There we go. But he's been stuck in gold for a while, and he's worried that he might not be able to keep up in plat and everything. And I don't think it's—I don't think that's the case at all. To be a hundred percent honest, I think he'll be able to keep up. It's going to take him a little bit of time, but that's kind of what sparked this I, this conversation, this idea is that um, he was worried about quote-unquote keeping up with us in diamond and um that's just what i attribute it to i was stuck in gold for three seasons it feels like and I, it was just because i didn't you've got to break that barrier first once you break that barrier and get out of gold the first time if you're if you're ready you won't go back in my opinion um you won't go back because you've separated yourself from that crowd now maybe i'm totally wrong awesome gg the net player Woo! Woo! almost a diamond again uh in twos would love to hit diamond probably gonna play one more i think these two games i think these two games per video is pretty solid but yeah keep your head up guys um and if you're having trouble getting out of that like silver gold platinum trying to get into those higher ranks um there's a handful of mechanical things that yes will definitely help you um and i'd love to do some tutorial videos if you guys want to see stuff like that just let me know um I already did a video on how to half flip which half flipping is something that you do so much in the higher ranks that you forget that you're doing it and it's actually uh i won't say it's an well it's pretty much a necessary skill i in my opinion because you just can't rotate properly without it at least in my opinion so that's a skill definitely you want to have. Having good air control so that you can at least contest the ball properly. There we go. There we go. Um, another skill that's great to have but not necessarily teachable is just understanding when you cannot play the ball and understanding when even though you don't think you can hit the ball um where it's currently at should i go for it anyway like that right there i should have not gone for it at all because it was not i don't think that there was a circumstance where i i contest that properly i was out of position sometimes you can go for a ball that you can't contest in a 50 50 or straight up win but you can go for the read, you know, oh, I think they're going to hit it 
to point A or point B, and you're going to deflect it. Um, like that one there, I knew I couldn't get to the ball, I just wanted to make sure that he couldn't take a wide shot on the net. And by him not being able to take a wide shot on the net, my teammate was able to save a short-sided shot. So sometimes that's what it takes, is just... Uh, just putting yourself in the proper position to prevent a goal in a lot of those cases. Like there, I tried to play for where I thought he'd push the ball, and I slightly, I slightly was off. I knew I couldn't hit the ball, win the, the ball itself, but that doesn't always have to be the goal, is to push the ball exactly where you want it for an offensive shot. It can just be, I'm gonna prevent the ball from going in my net, or whatever it might be, so. Uh, especially in twos, over committing is absolutely deadly, like what those guys just did right there. If I wouldn't have rotated back for boost, it was not a guaranteed goal, but man, it was a... Oh, I thought he was going to hit that. See, that's what happens sometimes uh, once you get into the higher ranks, is you get so used to people hitting everything that they go for, that you start playing for hits. And if they miss, then you get into the conversation of faking. Woo! Getting close there, not liking it. But yeah, you can get into the you get into the fakes, and that's where like that I was just going for I knew he was gonna hit it towards the net, and I was just banking on him pushing it down based on his angle. So little things like that. Not necessarily going right at the ball, but going for a, a place where the ball's going to be. Oh, that was so horrible. And that's the stuff right there that I think starts to separate platinum and diamond players. If you are consistently predicting where the ball is going to end up, like that, I was just playing for a read that was coming back on me. And my teammate was back, so there was, I mean, there was less risk, less risk. We're all right, we're all right. There was less risk because I thought that he would be able to, to make a, a good play on it. They won a 50-50, it happens. So you can go all in on some of those. Uh, you gotta be selective in twos because if you're all in, you might be all losing. Ooh, ooh, so close. Ooh, and little touches—they matter. Whether they don't matter or whether they matter, they matter. Especially, especially in these weird predicaments. Uh, dang, I was really hoping he'd hit that. Um, but little touches can make a huge difference because it buys you time. Oh, that was horrifying. I thought that that wasn't going to hit the ground the way it did. I still got, I got lucky. To be honest, I wasn't expecting that to go the way it did. Ah, got in my way. No, no. Ooh. Get it out of there. Let's just play some OT, okay? Yeah, let's play some OT. We're fine. We got this. Oh, no, 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 no. little hops right there if you can make those happen fast they're deadly
Now that right there, I that was a great pass on his part, and I missed a shot. That was an awesome pass. He did exactly what I wanted him to do. I just didn't get there quite in time to 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 sink it, but he he did a good job following it up. Yeah, GG's. That was a good game. So, a couple of victories today. Uh, just probably three, four games out of Diamond. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Um, I like having teammates who are casual, ready to go, but still competitive in a way, but not down your throat if you make a mistake. So, yeah, no. Uh, great set of games today. I, I've been playing pretty well, so I'm, I'm very happy with the way that I've been playing. Um... I'm glad that while I was playing this set of games, I had zero lag issues. Absolutely wonderful not to have lag issues, because I had some seriously bad ones on screen today that I'm try that I tried to get worked out, and I think I might have figured out some of it. Um, but it is possible that the stream itself caused the lag issues. So I mean, I've got to do some test streams and stuff to get all that worked out. But anyway, um, if you guys do want to catch the, ch catch the streams when I'm doing some PUBG or Rocket League, uh, that will be at Twitch TV JM underscore 0070. I don't remember the exact URL, but my user on Twitch is JM underscore 0070. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check me out there and follow me. I want to have a nice presence on both, so... Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Your support really means a lot. Uh, I actually had a friend of mine today message me and say, Hey, I'm checking out your video right now. And I was just like, Oh, really? What do you think? And um, I just really appreciate it. It's just little things like that. Um, hopefully that you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you're having a great day. And um, I will get this up to you guys soon and probably be back at you with another video tomorrow.